Now this morning I've just pulled up from a bit of the fishing we've been doing. As you can see it's freezing, there's a frost all over this log and this grass and what I want to share with you is my top five tips for targeting big Murray cod in winter time. At the moment it's great fishing, um, hard work, lots of casts are needed but there's some still great fishing out there and the cod are massive, big, huge fish. Now the first tip is about using big lures. You want to make sure you use oversized lures as big as they get. Now what we do have here, I have a few here. First one here, big spinner baits. I'm going to run through what I've got here really quick. This big spinner bait is a mud guts, big guts, one and a half ounce, perfect for casting. It's a big oversized spinner bait. Um, it's heavy, sinks quick, big blade. Um, if you're finding it's not sinking quick enough, you can go to a willow blade. Perfect lure to have in your, in your tackle box uh, is a spinner bait. The big FX Furies we've been casting, which is a big soft plastic, another brilliant lure. Um, up around that 200 mil mark, and that's what you want to look for in soft plastics. There's plenty out there on the market. Uh, they all do work. These Furies are our favourite. They're the most lifelike, come in some awesome colours. This one here is the perch, and this one here on the end of the rod is the rainbow trout pattern. Brilliant for the dams that have the rainbow trout that the cod feed on. Um, rigged with a couple of hooks, it's very important to rig them correctly. Um, this one here around a 5 8 of an ounce jig head, that's what we like to use. Um, it's perfect for fishing, you know, three metres all the way down to deep water, five or six metres. Um, they're the soft plastics and another great lure to have are your hard bodies. For casting and trolling, especially casting in, in against the bank, um, if the big deep bib it gets right down there, brilliant lure to cast and troll. This one here, the 150mm AC Invader, one of my all time favourite hard bodies. And this one here is the White Crow, 190mm Warthog, another brilliant lure, and it's a lot, it's a, even bigger than this one here. And that's what we're all about using big, big lures. Um, another thing, upgrade trebles on your hard bodies. These ones, this one here has a big owners put on it. Uh, very important to have good quality terminal tackle. So that's the first tip, make sure you use big lures. The second tip is about the rod and the outfit. Um, we're casting big lures and short rods don't handle big lures very well. It's very hard to get the distance in them. You end up having to put a lot of uh, effort and energy into casting and you end up snapping them off if you happen to get a bit of backlash and a bird nest in there. So invest in a swim bait rod. There are plenty out there on the market now. This one's the Abu Veritas rod. Uh, seven foot nine, so it's very, very long. We're getting up into that scale of like small surf rods, all these swim bait rods, but they're being specifically made for casting big lures for Murray Cod. We've been using them this winter and they're absolutely brilliant. In cast your lures heaps further, get an extra 30, 40% in your casts, a lot easier on your gear and a lot less chance of bird nesting and casting lures off. So for casting your big surface lures, your big plastics, your big hard bodies, whatever you're using, spinner baits, get yourself a big swim bait rod. So to the next tip, it's all about being stealth and quiet. Now, what it is, is when you're fishing a spot, um, the cod can hear the sound of an engine or the sound of things that aren't natural. So when we know where we're heading to a bank, say we know a spot we're going to fish, we'll get on the plane with the boat, we'll head over to the spot, but we'll pull up well and truly far, far away from where we're actually fishing, put the electric motor in and motor over and then start casting. So pull up at least a couple of hundred meters before your spot, then motor in. It might take that extra couple of minutes to electric over, but you're not going to spook the fish in the area. When it's so quiet out here, winter time, um, there's not usually that much activity. They don't have many boats out here. It's not ski season and you're going to put fish off. So just remember that. Go in nice and quiet. It's all about being stealth to catch these big fish. And that could be the difference between spooking a fish and not spooking a fish on your chosen bank. Now the fourth tip is all about fishing the low light periods. Very, very, very important. First light, last light, and through the dark. Now you might be thinking, in the middle of winter, it's gonna be freezing out there in the dark, and it is, but if you can rug up, as you can see, I'm wearing some really, really warm gear. It's actually the coldest now because the sun's just about to come up. Got snow gear on, snow pants, thermals underneath. Put it on and get out there in the dark because that is a great time to catch them. Nighttime, you cannot beat it because the fish have a whole heap more confidence than they do during the day. There's no sunlight, they can come out and feed on the prey, whatever's swimming around. It's a great time to be on the water. Even in the middle of winter, it is freezing uh, and you might be a, it might be a lot of casts between fish, but get out there and give it a crack. We come out and fish in the dark, we fish that low light period right on sunset. But the best part of the day, apart from night time, is sunrise. That first hour of light from when you get that first little bit of a glimmer till the sun hits the water. And those that hour and a half that you get to fish could be two hours. You want to use surface lures. 
best time to be casting surface lures is right on first light. Um, the water's cold, the fish have spent the night up cruising around in the shallows, and that's when you'll get them on top. So if you're gonna chuck surface for big cod, and winter's a great time to do it, do it in the morning. And the very last tip is about wearing and packing warm clothes and spare clothes. It might seem a bit of a boring tip, but it is very, very important, especially if someone falls in or you happen to get wet or something, always pack a full set of spare clothes. I've always got spare thermals, uh, spare jumpers, pants, and I've got a spare set of ski gear just in case someone happens to get wet, falls in, something goes wrong because it is very, very cold out here. If, if the dam, if the dam you have to wear a life jacket, please wear one. Um, and also it's very important, it's probably worth wearing one in the dark as well, just in case something happens. Um, but always wear warm gear, get thermals, um, good warm pants, thermals up top, warm jumpers. And this here, I've got ski gear, ski pants, ski jacket. Really, really good for keeping the wind out. Also get yourself a buff, beanie, Gloves, um, if you can get good quality gloves, there are out there that you can actually still feel your reel and you can still cast with gloves on because the morning this morning was negative three. Um, the ice was coming up on the, on the rods, freezing up, very, very chilly. So get yourself a warm pair of gloves. Those top five tips, they may, say, they may seem simple, you may have already known them, but if you picked up something extra there, make sure you remember it. Next time you head out in the water, if you happen to head out in the water during the next couple of months, nice and cold, it's winter, big, big fish, we've been catching a lot of big ones, Get out there, give it a crack. Would you like to learn more about freshwater fishing? Then make sure you check out the Complete Guide Little Fishing Series. It's the very first freshwater tutorial video series with over five and a half hours, 20 tutorials, and 330 minutes of jam-packed action. And it's only available at Social Fishing. To learn more about this series, visit the website at www.socialfishing.com.au.